G'day mate, today we're going to be talking about Australia, or as some people from overseas call us, Australia. For those of you who have no idea what Australia looks like, you might recognise this. As you can see, the two major parts of Australia consist of Australia and New Zealand. But because we caught New Zealand shagging the sheep a few years back, we got divorced. Although to be fair, we never really were together anyway. Now, for the rest of you that have some idea what Australia looks like, you're probably imagining this. But let's be a bit more realistic about this. It really looks a little closer to this yeah so Australia skin cancer capital of the world definitely worth a visit you will surely want to see Queensland the sunshine state or to be more blunt skin cancer capital of the skin cancer capital you'd think that Queenslanders would constantly be outside in the great weather of the time getting loads of exercise right well no they're the most obese and overweight state of territory in Australia oh and they have the worst poverty in Australia what else is Queensland good for how about seeing some killer dingoes or as Queensland is the highest weed arrest in Australia you might even catch a weed bust if it's jacked up people you want to see Queensland is definitely the state for you it's by far the Royal capital of Australia and you know that stupid tradition of over the top celebration for finishing school when we don't even care about finishing a degree yeah, schoolies, that came from here. Where half of them are drunk half the time and about a fifth are stoned half the time. Not to mention all the violence and sexual assault from the little underage pricks. Now, let's have a look at Australia's oldest state, New South Wales, the premier state, home of the rudest drivers of the nation. It's our migrant capital and they seize over one tonne of cocaine a year. New South Wales is also our most racist state and they're also our kidnapping capital. While visiting New South Wales, be sure to check out the famous crime hotspot, King's Cross. The very reason we now have one punch laws and lockout laws. Enclaved by the migrant rich yet racist New South Wales is the territory for the seat of government, Australian Capital Territory capital where our Prime Minister Tony Abbott, son of Dick Abbott, the most hated politician in over 26 years, resides. So let's face it, a state of territory of someone in it, especially the Prime Minister, who is against asylum seekers yet as a migrant, probably is a state of territory for the dense. Literally, it's the densest state or territory in Australia. The ACT is the state of parliament, which shows because everything is nicer. Even prisoners in the ACT cost Australia more than anywhere else. Ah, Victoria, the Garden State. The state famous for our most historical outlaw. You know, the one whose last words before being hanged became such a bogue and stick of the chuck on your youth, such as life. Yeah, Ned Kelly. Now, Victoria is home of the widely famous and avoided hook term. And like Queensland, Victoria was named after Queen Victoria. Well, Queensland was smart enough to name their state more generically. Victoria named their state so specifically that it's even more embarrassing that Obama in the US gets to use her desk while Victoria doesn't. Victoria also has a great soil for farming, hence why they have five tons of weed seized each year. Victoria also has had its history of major bushfires. But despite Ash Wednesday, Black Friday and Black Saturday, Victorians are still the worst in the country for upkeep and smoke alarms. If you are visiting Australia, you should visit South Australia, the festive state. No one else in Australia wants to see it. Ironically, the only state that was settled entirely of free settlers has the highest drug arrest and fines rate in Australia. A smoking weed will only get you a $150 fine and no conviction at all. Oh, and South Australia is also the car crash capital of Australia. Next Next is Western Australia, the wildflower state, home of the largest gender pay gap in Australia. Western Australia is also the most littered state or territory in Australia. That's both by volume and per items per square kilometre per person. We should also mention that Perth is the binge drinking capital of Australia. WA is also the capital for shark attacks. And Western Australians are the most prejudiced to other cultures in Australia. If you're thinking that Western Australians are pretty manly, you know judging other cultures, getting paid way more than their sheilas and drinking more than any other state or territory, then you should know that they also have the shortest penises in Australia. Now Western Australia may be the biggest state in Australia. Bloody heck, the Northern Territory, the territory, is the most empty. They have 1% of our population spread out so far that each square kilometre would only have a fifth of a person in it. To put that in perspective, 
Manila in the Philippines has half the density of Dhaka in Bangladesh, and Manila has 15,000 people per square kilometer. That's 0.2 in the Northern Territory and 15,000 in Manila. Manila is 75,000 times more populated. But if you think you'd be escaping the crime of a big city, think again. Northern Territory has the highest sexual assault victimization rate in Australia, as well as having a murder rate five times higher than any other state and territory. Don't worry, they catch a lot of them, hence why they have the highest imprisonment rate in Australia. If crime's not your thing, why don't you visit and see a UFO? After all, the Northern Territory is the UFO capital of Australia. And as Victoria's cleaned up their act recently, guess which state or territory has almost twice the CO2 per person than any other state or territory in Australia? You guessed it, Northern Territory. Australia is one of the worst countries in the world for greenhouse gas emissions. This makes the Northern Territory one of the biggest contributors to crime change in the world. If you're visiting the Northern Territory, don't worry about the CO2 levels at all though. You should be far more scared of the roads as you'll be more than twice as likely to die in a car crash than anywhere else in Australia. I hope you survived that. The second hand smoke from Australia's biggest smokers will get you. And not to forget Tasmania, the Apple Isle, home of the worst drivers in Australia, especially for crashing into stationary objects. You can't really blame them though. I mean, can you imagine how cross-world they'd be of two ends? Speaking of two words, Tasmania is home to the biggest shooting massacre in Australia's history. From Martin Bryant, the guy whose one hand wanted someone to stop him, or the other went on to kill 35 people. Apart from that, Tasmania has recently become known as the Bogan capital of Australia, which is no surprise given that half of them can't read or write properly. They have the worst grade 12 completion rate in Australia, they have the most unemployment in Australia, and they have an overly high teen pregnancy rate. And if you thought the ACT had a poor economy, you should see Tasmanians. Now, we've covered all of Australia, right? You've had fun laughing at how dumb all the states and territories are, yeah? Well, I bet you didn't even know that there are more territories in Australia. We miss Christmas Island, Jervis Bay Territory, Cocos Keeling Islands, Ashmore and Carter Islands, Coral Sea Islands, Australian Antarctic Territory, Heard of McDonald Islands, and Norfolk Islands. But you know what I love most about living in Australia? It's how easy we can all cop a joke and just laugh at ourselves. Cheers for watching.